everybody, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. I hope that your week is off to an amazing start and thank you for clicking on. So as you can tell by the title, today I have a product review for you and it is going to be on a new mascara that I just got. I haven't tried it or anything yet, so this is the first time that you'll be seeing my reaction and seeing how it looks and all that. You guys always love my product review videos. They're always my most watched ones, so I definitely want to give the people what they want and keep doing more of these. So I'm very excited to be testing out this product for you guys today. So this is a product by a brand that I have used and loved for years. Um, it's MAC. It's an Extreme Dimension Lash Mascara and the color is Extreme Black. So this is what I'm going to be testing out for you today and I'll give you a closer look at the packaging. As you can see, it comes in this cool bottle. It has the MAC logo all over it and then it has this kind of more pointed top, which I think is so that when you take the brush out, it's easier to grab onto it. So I got this mascara for Christmas and I'm curious to try it because I've sort of been in between mascaras lately. My default was always this one, um, which is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I'm sure you've seen me use it in other videos before, but I have also lately been going for this one by Rimmel London. It's the Lift Me Up mascara and I just like how big and thick the brush is because I feel like it really gets all my lashes and Better Than Sex does that too but it also I feel like doesn't last as long or it runs out easily which is the case with many mascaras. You know I'm willing to spend the money on mascara if it's something I really know I love but for that to be true I need to try it for myself and see how it goes. So let's take a look at the brush before I put this on. So here's the brush and it's all one width as you can see or one like circumference it doesn't really get bigger or smaller as some of them do so I'll be curious to try that but I already do like how this feels that I can grip onto it because I think that that'll make sure that I'm accurately applying it to my lashes okay I've zoomed in a little bit so you guys can actually see what this looks like so right now I have nothing on my lashes and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this they look better already and I didn't even really do that much Okay, so that's one eye done, and if you just want to see in comparison to the one that I haven't put anything on yet, this is what they look like. I feel like they did a really good job of lifting and also separating. I think I put a little too much on right there. Yeah, but that's an easy fix. Um, it's not clumpy at all, which is great. Okay, let me go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, and now we have both eyes done. I think it looks really good. Okay, all done, and I don't know if any of you have ever felt this way about mascaras, but I didn't feel like stupid when I was applying this one. Like, I didn't feel like there was some secret trick that I didn't know how to use it. I felt like it was pretty straightforward because it was super easy to like grip onto and I felt like I had good control when I was applying it on. And it's also just, it's all like I said, one dimension. So it's not like you have to get like the middle ones and the part that goes down on the brush. Like I think that was kind of cool. Yeah, this one just has a different shape to it where it goes in and out slightly. And I feel like that can sometimes trip me up, as silly as this may sound. People are like, why am I watching a product review by a girl who doesn't know how to put on mascara by now? But mascara is not my favorite beauty product by any means. So to get one that's just really simple and does a great job means a lot to me. And I think that the MAC one satisfies that requirement. Both of these are actually $23 but I actually really do like the MAC one. I might end up switching over to this, but I'm going to keep testing it out in my beauty routine for the next few weeks, and I can let you guys know in an upcoming vlog, or just if you're curious and you wanna ask me how it's been going after a little time has passed, definitely reach out and let me know. I like being able to update people in real time because sometimes you can try a product out at first and love it and then realize that your skin has a bad reaction to it or that it's not as amazing as you thought it was going to be, and other times you could try out a product and not be that into it and then in an emergency situation you have to grab something and you end up using it and you're like, oh, this ended up working out kind of well. So this is definitely a first impressions video um, because you're actually seeing my first reaction to it, but I really do like it and I think that 
it's a good new addition to my beauty collection. If you're at all curious to know what MAC has to say about it, I'll read you the little product description real quick. Lashes take on unreal scale, structure, and sweep. The MAC patented brush design holds more mascara as rows of microfibers weave in between lashes to separate, define, and enhance on a dramatic lash-by-lash -lash level. Max lightweight whipped formula saturates lashes root to tip, adds volumes, extends length, creates curl, while conditioning for softness and flexibility. The final result, extreme dimension that won't smudge, clump, or flake. So I think that it did all of those things, and it's interesting that they say that it's a lightweight whipped formula because it didn't feel heavy when I was putting it on at all. It really did feel like light and then as a result that it would lift my lashes up. So that I really enjoyed. I also didn't realize this was a MAC patented brush design. So that's pretty cool. So you know that like when you're buying this, it is a MAC specific design. The thing that I really do like about MAC is that they have their own brand identity. And so to know that it's like a patented MAC design that their makeup artists have tried and tested out and hopefully that it makes it as easy for us as possible. It really means a lot to me as a consumer of their products to know that that much thought went into it. So I'm very excited to have this in my makeup bag now, and like I said, I can keep you guys posted on my progress, but first impressions, this gets a huge thumbs up from me. I think for $23, um, I think that's a reasonable price for mascara, and I think that it'll last me for a while, and again, I really just like how lightweight and lifting the formula felt because I can feel it for myself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every week, lots more product reviews and beauty videos coming your way very soon. And if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below so I know to keep creating more content like this. So thank you all again, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.